got on the broadcast crew, the Gators just beat Kentucky every single year. And then now you've been <laughs> on in the last few years, and Kentucky has uh, kind of had their number. So a little interesting there. But, I mean, think about this. As much as Florida has dominated, this is just the second time in 70 years where these two teams rank meet as ranked opponents, which is that? just nuts to think about. Yeah, that is hard to think. I mean, you, you, you got to think, obviously, from 90 to now, that lets you know exactly – how bad Kentucky's been, you know, in, in the last 30 years. Um, and, and obviously with Mark Stoops at the helm, he brings a lot to that team, that university. They've got a lot of pride going into what he's doing. And I, I got to get in this. I give credit where it's due. Mark Stoops has done a heck of a job with this football team and this program. And he's got them on the up and up. I and mean, he's bringing recruiting into a place that doesn't seem to really have much effect on the rest of the SEC. But in the last, you know, 10 years, he's done an amazing job building Kentucky into more than just a basketball school. Well, and I think this day and age in college football where it seems like you're firing somebody after three or four years, Kentucky did. They stuck it out. They went through some not-so-good years, maybe even some miserable years, to say, hey, we want to have a guy there, establish something, build something. And obviously we saw a coach last week in, uh, in Utah's coach that had been there for 18 years. Stoops has been there a while. Point VCU. Finally for VCU, it ends the service run of Alexis Stuckey, who gets the Gators out to a lead after the Gators have trailed early here in, in this baseball. opening set. Regardless of playing multiple matches in here, though, Tom, this is the first chance they've had to square off against the Gators. You have to expect some nerves. 
Serve for Hoffmeyer, the libero, to Essex. Off the hands of the blockers. Played up into the middle. And a swing and a kill for Sarah Stratton. Point middle blocker. Finds a way through the Gator block. Gators had a double block up, but didn't close quite in time. And then, of course, in the back row also splitting Trinity Adams and Ellie McKissick. Florida 7, VCU 5. Here's the serve again for Hoffmeyer. Set to the right side. Markova off hands. Gets the kill. Arita Florida Markova. 8, Point VCU Florida. 5. Markova went hitting from the left. Loves the angle shot. Relatively narrow cone on her hard driven ball. But from the right side, her approach is, is rather different, both in speed and also her look. And she loves that sharp angle. First action of the afternoon for Emily Canan, who checks in and serves. The bullet pass made by Bentley to the middle. Gators pick it up. It was McKissick to the right side. Go the Gators. Hendrickson on the angle shot. It's played up. Tipped across by Bentley for VCU. Played by Stuckey. Played by McKissick. Out to AC Fitzpatrick. Who blasts away from the left pin? She had seven kills last night against FGCU. No errors in 13 swings. What a night she had last night. The transfer from Penn State from just down I-75 in Ocala. At just 5'11", not the tallest outside hitter, but very physical, and she's more than willing to hammer into the block. Canan serves again for Florida. Out to the outside, they go to Bentley, sends it across with the left hand, into Florida's front left, and trying oh, to get there was Iron McKissick, Bentley, but could not. A lot of eyes on number five, Jasmine Knight, out of the middle, but you can't sleep on Cairo Bentley from the outside. She's the second leading point scorer for the team, and she's so the player that gets six, the ball Taylor on Alana. less than ideal mm -hmm. passes. Sir forthcoming, just checked in, Taylor Aguano. The other setter, the lefty, takes a rip at it. Pass McKissick, set to the outside. AC Fitzpatrick is blocked. There on the right side, Jovana Vukovic. Point, VCU. VCU scores the point on the block there as Vukovic, the graduate student from Montenegro, got it there. Serve again for Taylor Aguano. Pass McKissick. Stuckey sets the middle. Essex touched by the block. Dug up. Out to the outside. Bentley down the line. Missed it. Tara Bentley looked Florida. down the line. Thought she had some room in between the antenna and the block. But just missed long. Ball wasn't wide. Maybe just got a little too excited about it. Serve coming for Ellie McKissick, who has served it well this weekend. Here is her serve. Down the near side. Pass made Bentley. Set to the middle, it flies by the middle. Just bumped across by Vukovic. Gators go to Bree Kelly, who had Bree her Kelly. shoulders perpendicular Point to the Florida. net, Josh, across her body, straight down for the kill. Well, and that shows just a, a stunning side-by-side -side example of the middle connection. Kelly's able to work with that ball, whereas the connection between Aguano uh, didn't, quite, didn't quite work. Pass made after the McKissick serve for VCU. They go right side, Bentley on the right, caught some net tape, dug up by McKissick. Out to the outside, goes forward to Fitzpatrick. Dug up behind the blockers by Vukovic. Back row attack, and it's a kill from the back row for Anna Brangioni. And when you don't have that connection at the middle, as I mentioned before, the ball sailing over Sarah Stratton on that quick offense. Both setters try to run the middle the kind of same way, but both middles for F or for VCU rather are not the same types of players. So you got to go somewhere else, the back row. Cairo Bentley serves. And it's in as Fitzpatrick let it go by, but it's sailed in. That might give a glimpse into why the Gators were having trouble with the pass early on. These, these deep, not hard driven, but dropping float serves. It's not a lob, mm -hmm. but the bottom drops out late. Pass made, Fitzpatrick. Stuckey didn't have to move. Sets right side. Hendrickson down the line. Blasting away. Big celebration between Hendrickson and Stuckey. Hendrickson clearly liking that set. Serving for the Gators, Birdie Hendrickson. Birdie Hendrickson. Breakout night last evening. Six kills in 12 swings against Florida Gulf Coast and really was the glue that kept the team together. There's a big swing on the outside for Anna Brangioni. Bra Brangioni Bra 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 seeing big hands up from Alexis Stuckey. She was working from outside to in. That's a good opportunity to use those hands so to try to tool the block. Brangioni only played one set with a service error against Georgia Southern in their big comeback win. And two cents against Florida Gulf Coast didn't have a kill. 
Canaan with the pass for Florida out to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick blasts away again. And that's against Vucevic. 6'2", long arms. But the great part about AC Fitzpatrick is she builds momentum so well through her approach. As a shorter player, she has to use her vision, but she gets up on the ball quickly. And that allows her to take advantage of the block before the block closes. In for Florida is Trinity Adams. Seven digs, two service aces against Florida Gulf Coast last night. Her serve is in play. Pass made Brangioni to the right side. Vukovic dug up by Florida. Second contact there is McKissick off the forearms, and it's a swing for Markova. It's out DCU. wide. Markova looking for that angle shot that we mentioned earlier. Thought she had room. She definitely has the reach for it, but I think the set was a little past her. She had to reach to her left. Serve for Jones, one of the setters. Gators go slide play down the line. Bree Kelly is dug up to the outside. Brancioni near the net. It went on the side of VCU and Jasmine smacked down to the floor by Jasmine VCU. Knight. Knight was all ready for that one. The Gators, on the other hand, a miscommunication between who's going to take that ball, Bree Kelly or Alexis Stuckey. Serve again for Corinna Jones. Stuckey sets the slide play. Bree Kelly, angle shot this time. It's Bree down Kelly. for the kill. Starting to Stuckey. see some next level Florida. adjustments from Bree Kelly. She just started really running the slide for the frequently this season. And now we see the adjustments late in her approach when the set trails either farther out or dies farther in. Serving for Florida after the kill is Bree Kelly. Pass made, VCU into the middle. Knight blasting away. She goes across her body for the big One, rip. VCU. It's Florida 14, VCU 13. In watching some film of VCU, Tom, I realize how difficult it's got to be to Serving read VCU. Knight's swing. It's unorthodox. Mm -hmm. And when she goes cross body, she doesn't really have a tell that she's going to do so. Francione serves. Gators will go to the outside to Markova. Tips it across. Played up by Jones. Out to the outside. Swing for Bentley, and it's way long. But there is a touch, and that's why Hill Hannah Adams is, Iron excuse Bentley. me. Point VCU. That's why Trinity Adams is trying to raise the hand up and get a ball, a hand on the ball. We're tied at 14. Here's the serve for Brangione. Pass made, Markova. Set to the outside to Markova. High off hands it goes, played up by Brangioni. Set to the outside, here's Bentley winding up. Gators block it! There's Gabby Essex along with Alexis Stuckey. Wow! Big Gator block coming in. The beginning of this match here in set one. That's the momentum builder for Florida. Media timeout. Well, I guess I don't have anything from Josh there. Let's go ahead and get him on the headsets here courtside as serving for Florida is Stuckey after the media timeout. And the service ace for Alexis Stuckey at 16-14. Great way to come out of a timeout there with a service ace from Stuckey. And the Gators talking in the, in the timeout about how well VCU is passing. I'm talking about how important it is to remain patient throughout transition. Serve for Stuckey, pass for Hoffmeyer. High in the air off of Bentley from the right side. The swing down the line is a kill on the right side for the opposite Parker Hartzell. Hartzell finding just the outside arm of Marina Markova as she's blocking at the left front for the Gators. Not a, not a rip of a swing, just a smart one. Florida 16, VCU 15. Here's the serve for Crew Hoffmeyer, the libero. And it's just long. Florida with a two-point edge at 17-15. A lot of back and forth, Tom. It doesn't seem like either team has really hit a stride yet in this first set. They both played a lot of volleyball this weekend, so it's not that they're not warmed up, but you have to gauge your opponent. No matter what you see in film, it's different when you're looking through the net. Canan will serve for Florida. She just checked in. Shank pass Bentley. Somehow, Crew Hoffmeyer got a hand on it and then trying to make a dive at it is Anna Brangioni. She misses it. It goes as a service ace for Canan. It's 18 15. 
The Gators with their biggest lead here in this opening set, tying that, had it at 13-10 and at 10-7. Here's the serve for number seven. They go outside to Bentley, dug up by Canan, tapped across by Fitzpatrick with the left hand, and crafty play by the transfer from Penn State. Just found the ball in the plane of the net and found an open spot on the floor with the left hand. Well, and you have to credit Emily Canan for that laser of a serve, creating the situation there. Fitzpatrick, as Canan dug the ball that was returned, mm -hmm. just had to turn and help it over. Serve Canan, pass Bentley, not a good one. Out to the outside, it's it's across the plane of the net, outside the antenna. Florida. It's 2015 Florida. Gators now starting to put some distance I'm between themselves VCU. and VCU yeah, here in the first set. set. Tom Collette, Josh Crow with you from Exact Tech Arena. Timeout called for by Kevin Marine Campbell, the interim head coach for VCU. We'll take it as well here with the score in the opening set. It's Florida 20, VCU 15 on the Gator Sports Network from Learfield. With Cox Panorama. How we care for you. Coming out of the VCU timeout here as Canaan continues to serve for Florida. Pass made near the net. Gabrielle Essex just taps it across with the left hand. Wasn't quite ready for that ball to be back in there on a hurry. Gators play it up. It was Stuckey. Out to Fitzpatrick. Roll shot. Played up by Hoffmeyer and back left for VCU. Set to the right side. Here's Hartzell. And Hartzell hits the ball in the net. 21-15 Florida. So the attack error for Hartzell from the left side. Parker Hartzell. And the Gators with a lead of a half dozen here in the opening set now. Continuing to serve is Emily Canan. Her serve is in play. Pass made, back left. Set to the left side, tipped across. Essex got a second contact on it. It's pretty Hendrickson swings, angle shot. Played up by Bentley for VCU. VCU goes right side, Hartzell. The dig off of Canan went across the net. VCU goes to the outside and air mailing everything is number 11 in black, Cairo, Cairo Bentley. But there's a touch call at the net. There's a touch call at the net, so it's 21-16. Credit the kill to Bentley. And we have welcome back Josh Crow, who went on a quick errand for me here. It's 21-16, is finding high hands was Bentley there. So here's the serve forthcoming for VCU's Taylor Aguano. Gators set the middle, Gabby Essex delivers with authority. Had to take a quick lap there. It's almost like I was in trouble, but I'm back. Oh, you're not in trouble. 22-16, <laughs> Florida lead of a half dozen. The Florida kill there for Essex. And here is Ellie McKissick to serve. Her serve is in play, right to left. Pass made, Hoffmeyer scrambling to get it. It's played by one of the middle blockers out to the outside. Vukovic takes a serve. Gators dig it up. Gators go to the middle, and Bree Kelly delivers the smash. That was a similar look to what you described earlier, Tom, in that crossbody shot. Mm -hmm. Free Kelly moving over into the three zone, looking angle and trying to keep the middle that way as she swings cross body to the right back of the Rams court. Spinning the ball in the left hand, now approaching toss jump serve for McKissick. It's a pass made by Brangioni, set to the right side, coming up swinging is Bentley, dug up by, who was that, Canan in back middle for Florida. Fitzpatrick takes a swing, tap back across by Bentley, dug up by Canan near the net, a one-handed set for Alexis Stuckey, and they're gonna say it's a lift violation that she was too much in contact with the ball, Bree Kelly, and pushing it down. Yeah, she Kelly says, what? What happened? That's a contact that you can get away with as a setter. It looked as if Bree Kelly 
albeit facing Cupped the opposite it. direction, dumped the ball like you would see a setter do. Apparently they didn't like that. Calling it a little close there. Prather, Prater and Stahl are our officials today. Fitzpatrick with the pass after the VCU serve from the right side. Bernie Hendrickson delivers the kill to get the Gators to set point at 24-17. That's a really nice swing from Hendrickson. We talked about how our offense has been consistent in practice, but it's coming along in match play. With the absence of Beeson, you absolutely have to have that. You've got to have the third hitter, and she's there. 24-17, Florida at set point. Ferdy Hendrickson serves. Pass made, overpass. Bree Kelly says, I'm not going to lift that one. I'm going to smash it. Always easiest if you could stop the play at the net. Bree Kelly, Bree Kelly. Battling today. Rams now in the court to our right. Gators in the court to our left. And we will see Emerson Hoyle in the starting lineup for set number two as we are prepared to get underway along with Trinity Adams, Bertie Hendrickson, Gabby Essex, Alexis Stuckey, and Markova. So the libero, Ellie McKissick, begins this second set on the bench for VCU. Of course, Knight, a cog in their system. Hartzell, Bentley, Hoffmeyer, Brangioni, and I'm trying to spot the setter. I'm being blocked from view. There she is, Corinna Jones. So spinning the ball in the right hand, almost as if it's a basketball on her finger, it will be Emerson Hoyle to open up play here for the Gators in this second frame. Her serve is in play. Pass made Hoffmeyer. It's over near the bench. They will play it across. Free ball opportunity for the Gators. Played by Hoyle to the outside. Markova tips it. It's tipped back at her. She plays it up. Bertie Hendrickson sets the outside to Markova. It hits off her head and two players there. Hendrickson, actually three, Hoyle and Adams. Neither one of those three could bring the ball back up. Well, maybe all of that could have been avoided on that free ball opportunity. Both Trinity Adams and Emerson Hoyle calling on to the ball. Doesn't get easier than that, but you have to have your system worked out. When you work new people in, it takes time to get that rhythm. Serve for it coming from Brangioni. Pass made, Adams. Mark of a second contact. Back row, Bertie Hendrickson. Dug up by Brangioni. Tipped in the air. Knight. Could have been a lift there. Or illegal contact. Yes. To the right side. The Gators stuff block it. It's Markova along with Gabby Essex. We're tied at one here early going in set two. And I like that block. The Markova Essex block. Markova's height. Essex has the reach, but so strong across the shoulders and has the ability to finish and direct the ball down. Serve forthcoming from Alexis Stuckey left to right. Pass made from her knees is Brangioni. Bentley from the left side off the net, misses it long. They're looking for a touch, and there is a touch called by the up official Michelle Prather. VCU 2, Florida 1. Hoffmeyer to serve it. The libero, crew Hoffmeyer, sophomore out of guess where? Assumption, the libero factory in Louisville. Your name. Here's the serve, and it's in the net. So we're tied at two after the service error. If you just joined us, Florida took the first set 25-17 here against the Rams of VCU. Fitzpatrick checks in, also does Emily Canan. So Fitzpatrick in the front row with Essex and Hendrickson. As here is Canan to serve it. Her serve run really got the Gators started late in that first frame. They go to the middle, a tip shot across the net. Gators will play it up and go to the outside to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick down the line, buries it. Florida takes the lead, 3-2. Big look from Fitzpatrick, but that's off of Alexis Stuckey, who's backing up, had her weight back on her left heel as she threw the ball to the left pin. The accuracy is something that the Gators have relied on a lot in that not out of system, but forced set situation. Canan serves. Pass Bentley out to Bentley. Off the net. Dug up by Canan. Near the net. Look out. It's tapped back across the Florida side. Sent across by Fitzpatrick. A contact made by Corinna Jones, but no one near the end line in back middle for VCU. Sarah Stratton had an opportunity at middle to finish that play on the tight pass and couldn't put the ball down. It pinched in between her and the net, and that was just enough for Stuckey to, to punch the ball up and back, play it out. Back-to-back -back kills for Fitzpatrick. Shank pass. There's a service ace for Emily Canan. You mentioned earlier that Assumption is a libero factory. Emily Canan is a one-woman ace factory so far for the Gators this season. Coming up aces for the Gators, Emily Canan. As she serves again here, she had seven coming into action today. There's the set to the right side. Hartzell played up by the Gators out to 
Fitzpatrick, who pushes it across, played up by Jones. Out to Bentley go the VC Rams. She got it between Hendrickson and Essex. Yeah, Cairo Bentley, as I said, it's so easy to turn your focus to the middle at VCU, but especially on this half of the rotation when they're lacking Jasmine Knight in the front row, the go-to is Bentley, and Bentley delivers. Serving, just checking in for the Rams is the other setter. They're running the 6-2 as, at least so far, Taylor Iguano. Pass, Canan, Stuckey, back set, right side, Bertie Hendrickson, played up in the air, out to Bentley after being high in the air. Stick save, one-handed save for McKissick, taken by Bertie Hendrickson. Passed across, basically off the forearms from Fitzpatrick. They go middle. It's up from Stuckey in back right. Out to the right side. Bertie Hendrickson is blocked. Hit it into two blockers who were there. Sarah Stratton in the middle. And Cairo Bentley, the outside hitter. Hendrickson not getting any help from that set. That was tall and inside. Making less movement necessary for the block and thus an earlier setup. Five for Florida, four for VCU. Here's the serve again for Iguano. Stuckey all the way over to the other side of Fitzpatrick down the line. It's dug up near the plane of the net. Bertie Hendrickson will tap it across. It's played up by Crew Hoffmeyer of VCU. VCU gets it across. Bentley's block is partially touched. Gators go to the middle. It's Essex. It's touched and dug up by Brangioni. Right side for VCU. It's played up by Canan as she plays up Vukovic. Gators go to the outside to Fitzpatrick. She is blasting away, but she is blocked, and it falls deep back in Florida's back row. No one was there for the Gators. We're tied at five. Longer rallies do not favor shorter pin hitters. With every transition and every jump, you bleed a little bit of energy off, and this sport is really a three-step sport. Short, you know, explosive bursts of energy. When you get in that situation, you're going to run into trouble. Pass made by Canan, not a good one. It's in the net as Fitzpatrick dives for it in Florida's front left, and VCU takes the lead 6-5. Great serve there from Taylor Iguano, the lefty. One of the two setters in there, 6-2 offense they run. And I would argue the more productive half of that offense as mm -hmm. well, Tom. Here is the serve. Pass made by Canan. Stuckey didn't have to move this time. Sets Birdie. Birdie Hendrickson down the line for the kill. Florida, you see a, a change in their contact and their shot selection. It's important that Florida remembers that they're not quite hitting against what they would see in the mm -hmm. SEC or, more specifically, in the practice gym. That opens up some more options. You're starting to see the hitters take advantage of that. McKissick serves for Florida. Pass made. To the right side goes VCU is Bentley. Gators play it up and all the way to the outside to Fitzpatrick. Tip shot. Played up nicely. Sent across by Bentley with a left hand. Gators get it. McKissick to the middle. Bree Kelly blasts away and puts one right in Crew Hoffmeyer's grill after it hit the floor. Says a lot about the Gator defensive read. Seeing that ball come over with the tip and getting set up to run very fast in the middle. Over the crowd, Mike, you could hear Bree Kelly call for that ball. Serve fourth coming again here for McKissick. Three and serve receive for VCU. Anchored by Hoffmeyer in the middle, the libero. Pass made. VCU will go to the outside. Tip shot. It's off of a player. Fitzpatrick played it. And they call a center line violation on Fitzpatrick, who made the play, then stumbled right there at the gator head and on the other side of the net. 7-7. Seven, seven. The down official stop play right away, Ron Stahl. For the Kelly. Florida center line violation. Bree Kelly chatting up with Stahl, laughing, thinking that the whistle was on her at first. Serve forthcoming for VCU. It's Cairo Bentley. Pass made McKissick. Stuckey didn't have to move. Sets the right side. Birdie, angle shot. It, the dig goes across the net. Played by Canan of Florida. Outside Florida goes to Fitzpatrick. Roll shot. Played up in the plane of the net. Set back by Kelly. Sent across left-handed by Bentley. McKissick somehow got it. Fitzpatrick will just bump it across. Free ball opportunity for VCU. Set to the middle, and that's illegal contact. That's a double hit on the VCU setter there. And that pass came in low. Taylor Iguano tried to, to be quick with it. That was the right choice. Just had trouble executing on the contact. Serving for Florida is Bertie Hendrickson. Here's her serve. Pass made, Brangioni. High in the air, outside they go to Brangioni. Canan, somehow the Gators steer back across. Whacked back across by the middle blocker. She takes a swing again, and the Gators not quite quick enough to make the play on that one again. So it's Sarah Stratton 
from New Zealand. Taranga, New Zealand, who was up in the net multiple times, just hopping back up and taking another swing at it as it came back. Credit the Rams for keeping the pressure on Florida. It's a double-edged sword. Very scrappy, but always seeming a step behind and trying to get control of the ball. Here's the serve for Stratton. Pass made, McKissick. Slide play, Bree Kelly. Off the block attempt, blasts away for the kill. No double-edge to that sword. Bree Kelly coming out with a cannon on the slide, and I'm so impressed with how quickly She's climbed the learning curve and running that mm -hmm. slide so effectively, Florida both in serve, receive, and transition. Trinity Adams prepares to serve for Florida. She just checked in. Markova back on the court for the Gators as the Gators are doing the outside DS substitution pattern that Mary Wise thought they might pull today. Set to the middle. We haven't called her name in a while. She goes to her left and misses across her body, Jasmine Knight. But that's that look. Knight almost always off at two feet. She'll run quickly right in front of and right behind. A quick set behind the setter, depending on the rotation. And when she chooses to go cross body, you don't see it till the last second. Serve. In the net. Service error for Trinity Adams. Florida 10, VCU 9. Gators took the first set, 25-17. Lead by one as Gabrielle Essex and Emerson Hoyle take a seat next to Asia Ambler preparing to come in. Here's the serve for the other setter, Corinna Jones, who's in for VCU. Gators go outside to Markova. They touch it. Lexis Stuckey takes a swing and kills it. That was on Cairo Bentley in a hurry. Stuckey comes into the match with only 11 kills, but when she decides to turn and swing, she has very impressive vision. She doesn't mm -hmm. just turn to hit the ball or bury the ball. She's surgical with where she places it. Serve forthcoming for Bree Kelly. Gators up two here in the second. Pass made VCU into the middle. Knight dug up. Look out. Birdie tries to pick up, pick up Trinity Adams and does. Out to the outside. Hartzell dug up by Adams. The dig will go across the net. Swing for Brangiani. Gators go outside to Markovic and it goes over her outstretched right arm. And I'm gonna rewind that play just a little. Brie Kelly in serving, so of course that means she has to play defense. She handled that second ball, mm -hmm. out, of road, or out of system rather, her with her hands. Not a bad contact either, and that's something you don't expect from middles. Serve forthcoming here from Jovana Vukovic. Her serve is in play, pass for Florida to Gabby. Gabby is blocked on the slide play. One on one there by Cairo Bentley. We're tied at 11 as the big block for number 11 in the black jersey for VCU was there to stuff the slide play from Essex of Florida. And that's her third solo block so far this season. That's not a stat that you see outside hitters very high in. Serve, pass, McKissick, Stuckey, outside, Markova, off hands, kill for Marina Markova. Marina Markova. Trying to make up for that last early attack. She was up and down before the ball ever got to her, thinking the set was going to be faster. This time the communication and the connection was there. Stuckey prepares to serve. Here it is. A bullet. Pass made. Brangioni tapped across by Knight with a left hand. Played up by McKissick. Gators go out to right side to Hendrickson. Roll shot is played up. They go outside to Bentley. Gators are there to block it, but a great one-handed save by Knight at the net. Gators try to get it across. They will. Essex gets it across. Three ball opportunity for VCU. They go right side. Hartzell, angle shot, kill. And these are some of the unorthodox and, and maybe contacts that both coaches mentioned in the pre-match where you're not really expecting the ball to come back in the way it does from VCU. Not only do they run a unique offense, they'll throw the ball over mm -hmm. when they're scrambling. At times, that you just just are not normal. And just something as simple as that, even if it's a free ball, can disrupt a finely tuned defense like Florida's. Here's a serve forthcoming from Hoffmeyer. Pass Markova and back right. Stuckey tracks it down, sets the outside. Birdie Hendrickson, did she get a touch? No. I thought she got a touch off the block over there. It's an attack error for Birdie. And VCU takes the lead 13-12. I'm with you on that, Tom. I thought there was a touch as well, but no flinch from the line judge. Here's the serve. A bullet past McKissick. Stuckey sets the right side. Markova is blocked, and it's in. Markov is blocked by Bentley. Oh, Bentley making herself a name on Florida's right pin. She on the left side with another block there. It's VCU 14, Florida 12. But again, these are tempo issues between the second and third contact. Markova is up too soon. 
on those balls. Now, whether it's a matter of her leaving early or thinking she's getting a different set, not sure with the freshman setter. Here's the serve, pass made, McKissick. Set to the middle, Essex off hands, played up by Hoffmeyer. Set to the outside, here's Bentley, Gators blocked it. It's Markova and Gabby Essex. Markova still might be working out the approach timing, but her block timing is spot on. Markova now in her assigned jersey number. We saw her in 22 to start the season. She's got the number 11 now on, and she takes a trip back to the Florida bench as Canan checks in, serving here, and Asif Fitzpatrick checks in on the front row. Serve and play, pass, Bentley, one-handed set. Gators will block Stratton. And you've got two red shirt sophomores out of the middle for VCU, and so when you start to run offense like that where you're trying to push the ball in a shoot set into the three zone, mm -hmm. especially if you're rushed and in transition, uh, expect to take a little bit more time to fine tune that. Not a great pass. Roll shot from Hartzell of VCU. Off the forearms of McKissick of Florida out to Fitzpatrick. The ball is dug up near the net. Birdie Hendrickson challenged Bentley. It's on the Florida side. Out to the outside. And a big rip for A.C. Fitzpatrick. As Fitzpatrick gets us to 15-14 Florida. I love that look as Stuckey's off the net and feeding to the maybe undersized outside hitter. But Stuckey. And fourth serve this turn. She served it well at the end of the last set to get the Gators to the finish line. Outside set to Bentley, dug up by Canan. Off the forearms of McKissick out to the left. AC Fitzpatrick taps it across, played up by Bentley. Set to the back row, swing from the back row, and that one uh, was four hits. It was in the net as Frangioni hit that into the net tape. So back-to-back -back attack errors out of the media timeout for VCU. But the Gator block more than ready for that, reading the offense from VCU well and setting up to close off the net. Bullet, Canan, pass made, Brangioni out to the outside to Bentley. Gators stuff block. There's Gabby Essex, and Canan just bounced off of her trying to celebrate. Uh, Tom, I've been watching Gator volleyball nearly as long as you have. So I think that you can maybe reinforce this fact. When Florida block starts working, the tide turns no matter what's going on in the match and well-oiled program, so he can give another pair of eyes and, and lend a little bit greater role to the coaching effort. Sixth serve here in this stretch for Canaan. Out to the outside, Bentley, the ball was in the air, a long tie, and there's Hendrickson blocking alongside of Gabby Essex. And I love how Canaan comes in to celebrate, jumps up, and second time in a row she just bounces off of Essex. Yeah. Well, it's either that or one of the middles will catch her in the air and hang on to her like a, like a six-year-old. <laughs> Here's the serve for Canaan. Shank pass, Brangioni. Second contact, Bentley. They'll just have to steer it across. Hartzell, free ball played by Hendrickson. Set to the outside, here's Fitzpatrick, and she is blocked. Hit it right into Sarah Stratton. That was a question coming into this match. Who would Florida put at that other pin? And AC Fitzpatrick had a lights out performance, but she also had the opportunity to take a look at the block and some of the tendencies while Sophia Victoria was getting reps early on in last night's match. Serve forthcoming from Taylor Aguano. The lefty, the second setter in their system. Florida goes outside to Fitzpatrick, tip shot, played up by Bentley. Aguano steps in, sets the back row, roll shot, played up by Stuckey and back right for Florida. Set to the right side, Hendrickson readjusts, takes a big swing, played up, could have been a lift, they won't call it, a back on the Florida side. Stuckey sets the middle. Gabby Essex says, I've seen enough, let's stop this one right here. Essex not leaving any doubt as to what happened on that contact, but let's go back to an often overlooked component of the play, and that's the very first contact from the Gators. It was a laser of a serve from Aguano. Mm -hmm. So impressive for a freshman in Emily Canan maintaining her platform and she was keyed in on that. Just drifted to her left, shifted, and put up a great pass. Florida back row defense in great hands with McKissick who missed that serve there. And Canan, and Adams, and Hoyle. Wow. Serve after that error. It's 20 to 16. Florida's lead trimmed it to four. Here is Bentley serving for VCU. Pass made, Canan out to the outside. Fitzpatrick tip shot. They Banging around a couple times. Now we'll take a swing. Stratton got it in, going to her right. McKissick froze on that one, thinking the ball was going to be wide. It nearly was. Touched the sideline. 
Those are the ones, however, that when you see it's a roll shot, you have to make an effort toward that play. Uncharacteristic for McKissick. She's usually all over the place. Here's the serve for Bentley. Pass McKissick in back right. Stuckey sets the outside. Fitzpatrick got the kill there. AC Fitzpatrick delivers again. And that's one-on-one -on -one against a, a three-inch taller Vukovic on that one. But again, when you're 5'11", you learn how to use the block. You don't expect hard-driven balls directly cleanly to the ground. Bertie Hendrickson serves for the Gators. Pass made, VCU. Brangioni to the right side. Bukovic. Good block cover, but there's A.C. Fitzpatrick saying, you know I had that, Gators, when she turned around. <laughs> well, and her job as an outside blocker is to determine where the block takes place. She has to read what's going on from that pin hitter and set a position such that the middle can close. VCU head coach Kevin Maureen Campbell. afternoon alongside the good doctor dr josh crow i'm tom collette gators up a set and up here in the second with hendrickson mckissick canan stuckey fitzpatrick and brie kelly on the court against vcu out of the a10 and after the timeout once again birdie hendrickson will serve vcu out of timeouts here in the second set almost an overpass it was an overpass and that is a back row attack as the setter went up and played it. They run a 6-2, so she, their setter's always in the back row. Well, and she's allowed to handle it if she's in the plane of the net, but if the block is also in the plane of the net and contacts that ball above the net, it automatically becomes a back row attack. Hendrickson serve near the net. The set flies by the middle blocker, and uh, what do we have? A legal contact, four hits. Sarah Stratton. Or not a legal contact, but four hits. Four hits, which is an illegal play. Yes. Sarah Stratton got just a fingertip on that ball again as the shoot set went above her. Misconnection there or miscommunication. And when the outside hitter sent the free ball over, that's four. First action is a gator for Carly Hendrickson, who's checked in for A.C. Fitzpatrick. Set point. Here's a serve from Bertie Hendrickson. And it's an ace! Bertie Hendrickson delivers the ace, and the Gators take the second set by the count of 25 to 19. And lead in this match, two sets to none. The Gators with two Hendricksons on the court. Four swings at 71. Kill leaders for Florida, Bree Kelly and A.C. Fitzpatrick with seven apiece. Cairo Bentley for VCU with six. The Gators have outdug VCU 34-31, and the blocks are even at seven apiece. And that last point is the most important, I think, based on what we were hearing in the huddle as well. The Gators think that they should be able to get a leg up on the blocking situation and minimize VCU's blocks by diversifying the offense. Serve forthcoming. Here it is from Crew Hoffmeyer to open up this third frame. Markova takes a swing. Nice save from Bentley with one arm. To the right side, Hartzell flat-footed, sends it across. Look out, Adams played it. Bree Kelly tips it across. Played up in back right by Karina Jones. Out to the right side, Hartzell swings. Birdie digs it up, but what do we have? I missed what the call was. Was it a call net, in the net? Net violation net on, on Markova. Markova. Okay. Thanks, Josh. Anytime. one nothing VCU to open up this set. Here's Jones serving. Pass made far side by Adams. Slide play, Kelly tip shot. Wow, a diving play made near the net. Sent across, free ball Florida. Here's Bertie Hendrickson, who sends it out now to Markova, did Stuckey. Gators were blocked, but Gators block covered. Markova, no, Markova's saying, I hit it off of hands. Looking up at the up official with kind of a uh, dismay. Dismayed look on her face is Marina Markova well, and, and, and Mary Weisel Challenge. I was going to say, and that's echoed by the, the Gator bench as uh, Dave Booz beckons to Mary. He's got a little bit better of a view on mm -hmm. that. Uh, Booz coaches from the end of the bench. And so it kind of looks, uh, looks at the game as you would while watching a tennis match from mm -hmm. that end line. Changes everything on your perspective with the uh, exchange between offense and the block. Immediately he beckoned and said, yeah, we should challenge that. Well, and there are uh, specific things you can challenge. In or out, of course. Touches at the net. Whether they be on attack and they touch hands or a player contacting the net. You can't challenge 
judgment calls. Exactly. It's what it comes down to is, is what we call judgment calls, handling violations like lifts or doubles. So the call was overturned. So there was a touch. As, as I said, I, the look of dismay on Marina's face, I wanted to chuckle <laughs> because she looked up and says, you didn't see that touch? That was kind of the expression she showed. As Bree Kelly will serve here for Florida, and we're tied at one here in the opening moments of the third set. Bree Kelly approaches beyond the end line left side, serves it. Pass made right in front of us by Brangioni. Brangioni approaches from the right. Dug up a birdie in back left. As she went down the line to Brangioni, roll shot for Markova, dug up by Bentley. On the right side, kill for Brangioni. Brangioni taking a high roll all the way diagonally across the court to just paint that back right corner beyond the Gator defense. As I mentioned, she's had a tough weekend here, has Brangioni. Two sets against Florida Gulf Coast, hit negatives, no kills in seven swings with an error, and just one set against Georgia Southern. But she's been playing well today as the Gators go to a quick play in the middle, off the pass, Stuckey with the left hand, got the second contact dump, we're tied at two. Uh, that's a great way to leave the uh, the front row and go back and serve with a kill, especially for a setter. Setters always do that, don't they? <laughs> it seems like after they make a kill, right they the go back moment. to serve. Pass made for VCU. They go right side to Hartzell, dug up by Hannah Adams, excuse me, Trinity Adams. And there's a block for VCU at the left antenna. Cairo Bentley with the block. And again, some of the challenge up to this point for the Gators producing at the pins is either a miscommunication or a misconnection with the set. And in this case, that set was far too low for Bertie Hendrickson. Serve a bullet from Crew Hoffmeyer. Stuckey has to play it off the forearms, getting there. But off the net, back near the 10-foot line, Bertie Hendrickson delivers the beam from the left side, off the block for the kill. That's a real challenge also. I want to piggyback my earlier comment. When you bring a setter, in that starts getting time, this much time as a freshman, and you try to also run a fast offense to the pin, there's definitely an adjustment period. Here's a serve for Canan, who's checked in. Bentley with the pass to the right side to Hartzell, and Hartzell, Parker Hartzell, delivers the blow from the right side. VCU retakes the lead, a must-win situation for them. Down 0-2. They came back from 0-2 to beat Georgia Southern yesterday. That was an exciting match to watch. And on that last play, Hartzell did a great job of splitting the block. Saw that the Gators were late to close and went right through it. Taylor Aguano checks in and serves. Now in the back row setting, quick middle set, Gabrielle Essex, Gabby takes a rip and goes to her right to get the kill. The Gator coaching staff might want kills from all positions, but when you can hit like that out of the middle, I don't know, feed the middle. I'm in agreement there. Bree Kelly now into the lineup on the front row for three rotations. As Gabby's out serving in her spot there in the rotation is McKissick. Pass made, Bentley high in the air. They go to the right side to Bentley. Roll shot, was that a back row attack violation? Fitzpatrick from the left. Wow, a one-handed save to the outside. And the Gators block it, but it goes long, so it goes as a kill for Jovana Vukovic. And no, not a, a back row attack violation. Uh, on was Bentley, she in the front row? Yeah, she's in the front row. Okay. Three hitters all the time. But hitting from out at the attack line mm. and, uh, and still really putting some pace on the ball. Versatile hitter. Here's a serve for Bentley. Fitzpatrick with the pass, she'll get it back and kill it. And Josh saved as the ball hopped right at us, but we're tied at five after the Fitzpatrick kill. Still have the reaction time, Tom, I got you. You do. I might not be able to jump anymore, but. Or jump any less, you're still, <laughs> you still got the hops. I don't know, man. Bertie Hendrickson serves, pass made far side. From the right side, the Gators Dig up Vukovic and then go to Fitzpatrick down the line. She goes. Played up nicely there by Iguano to the outside. The swing for Jefferson. Gators will go slide play. Bree Kelly down the line, buries it for the kill. And that's exactly how it's supposed to happen. If the block doesn't close all the way, middle back defense in this system at least, mm -hmm. who's Emily Canan, crashes up, takes care of that area. She was there with a perfect dig. On that last ball, Vukovic tried to do what she had done for the kill earlier, but the Gator defense was ready. Jefferson out, Brangioni back in. Pass made, Hoffmeyer of VCU. Tapped across by the middle blocker, Stratton. Gators will go to the outside of Fitzpatrick. Off the block, second contact, Bertie Hendrickson. Fitzpatrick, roll shot. Played up in the back row by Bentley. 
Out to the outside, Brangioni airmails everything. Brangioni well outside the court, well off the net, and falling off to her left side. Was unable to get on top of that ball. Birdie Hendrickson has really blossomed this weekend in this different role. The Gators thought she was going to be a setter here, but she's really hitting and attacking and kind of the glue for this team. And just fun to watch. Yes. There's a nice swing and a kill for Brangioni at the left pin. They went right back to her, did the setter. Aguano, and rushing back in now here is Jasmine Knight. Their go-to player. We haven't called her name in quite a while though, Josh. Here's the set, a serve for Stratton. And Florida's out of rotation. And uh, the down official, Ron Stahl, I don't know where he pointed, and now he'll explain to Mary Wise. Beckoning to Fitzpatrick, who's in the overlap there. She's got to stay just a step ahead, I believe, of Canan in this. She's pulling back from the front there. Florida out of rotation. So now we're tied here at seven. Here's the serve, short ball, played by Canaan. It goes over the net, redirected by Stuckey at the last moment, around the blocker there. Out to the outside to Brangioni, and Florida's in the net. It's Stuckey. Stuckey did a great job in just getting a fingertip on that ball, doing everything she can to make it just a little more challenging for the Rams as that overpass headed over from the Florida side, but then the net violation. Stratton serves, three and serve receive for Florida. Canan in the middle, but this one sails long. No one has to make a play. We're tied at eight. Call that a wash, Tom. Florida gets to pick up where they left off, at least, uh, mm -hmm. albeit in the next rotation. Trinity Adams set to serve for the Gators. Three and serve receive for VCU. Knight in the middle, anchoring serve receive. Excuse me, that's Bentley. I beg your pardon. Set to the middle tonight. Gators play it up. It was Birdie with the dig. Markova on the outside goes down the line. She's dug up by Aguano, the setter. So the libero has to go off the forearms out to the right side to Vukovic. Gators keep it alive. Send it across. Birdie Hendrickson steers it across. So free ball opportunity. They go tonight. Dug up by Ellie McKissick. Stuckey sets the outside. Markova tip shot. Kill for Marina Markova. Might be a kill for Marina Markova, but all of the work in that exchange, Ellie McKissick, from where I'm sitting, I got to see how laser focused she was on that ball coming up to cover the block, slid under it with a pancake, and then got up again and just sauced the dig. Here's the serve for Adams. Pass Bentley. Set to the outside. Here's Brangioni, and Brangioni kills it. We're tied at nine. Wow, and I tell you, that play from the Gators libero, Ellie McKissick, got the crowd mm -hmm. going. Ball might have changed hands on this one, but that's the kind of the kind of spark that gets your team going if there's a lull in the action, a lull in the in the momentum. Expect the big things from the Gator on this exchange. Karina Jones serves after checking in the other setter in the 6-2. Here's Markova from the outside, dug up by Crew Hoffmeyer. Out to the outside, here's Brangioni. Played up by McKissick, Stuckey outside, Marina Markova. She's blocked by Jasmine Knight. And I say expect big things, but when Crew Hoffmeyer turns around and does the exact same thing mm -hmm. to the Gator offense, wow. A defensive battle here. Serve, it's in the net, service error. We're tied at 10. Point Florida. Hoffmeyer had a team high, 14 digs. Also had two assists and two service aces in that comfort behind win against Georgia Southern yesterday. Here's a serve, just back in the lineup for Florida. Emerson Hoyle, the freshman. Shank pass, it goes across the net, out of bounds, Florida side. It goes as a service ace for Emerson Hoyle. All, all the Gators up in that left front quadrant gathered around to escort the ball out, make sure that it was headed out of bounds. No chance that it would land on the line untouched. Hoyle's first ace intercollegiate career and gives the Gators a one point lead, 11-10. She gets the signal from the bench and here she will approach beyond the end line left side and passes, excuse me, and serves it long. So the ace, then the air. There have been big plays 
from both of these teams, but no real point runs that stick out in memory. It seems like only the Canaan one at the end of set one. Yeah, served six or seven in a row. Yeah, but it's, well, hang on, I'll finish after this play. Trinity out to Markova, dug up by Hoffmeyer in back left, out to the outside to Bentley, and Bentley misses everything. And while in that in that exchange, the Gators had possession for that time. We're not seeing kill after kill, block after mm -hmm, block. Mm -hmm. It'd be you know one earned point, one unforced error from the opponent, etc. Okay. Seems like both teams are working to unlock the cheat code to get some of these point runs here. I'm with digging authority. in. Here's the serve for Stuckey. Pass made. Bentley set to the right side. Swing there for Hartzell. Gators will go outside to Markova. She is blocked. Knight. And then she just comes back and pounds her chest to her teammates as they huddle after the big block. And big celebration from the Rams on that one, rightly so on the block. Frustrating play for the Gators as Ellie McKissick is running through her teammates to get to that ball and delivers a nectar out of system forearm set to the pin. Markova just couldn't finish with it. Hoffmeyer sails one well beyond the end line there. Hoffmeyer had a wonderful summer. Represented VCU at the 2022 Global Challenge in Croatia in mid-July on the under-23 team competition over there. 13-12 Florida. Here is Canaan serving for the Gators. Pass made, Bentley set to the middle. Stratton pushed it across, dug up by Canaan. Right side set to Hendrickson. She's dug up in the back row by Jefferson, who's back in. On the outside, Bentley dug up by Canaan, one-handed set, tapped across by Essex. Somehow she got there, but couldn't really get it back into the court for a teammate to play. Hoffmeyer diving beyond the end line, and the fans show some appreciation for that effort. That would be a very easy play on the Gator side of the net to draw an unforced error, whether it's Stuckey in the net or Essex sailing mm -hmm. the ball long. A lot of ball control and, and game time IQ to keep that in play and be challenging with the tip. Canaan with the serve. Pass made, Bentley. Out to Bentley, off the net, swings, and she got it down for the kill. Hendrickson and Essex didn't have a, a good look at the block there, and she took advantage, did Bentley. A great shot by Cairo Bentley. That ball was outside the block, but inside Florida's floor defense, going back to the sixth zone at the middle. You don't want to have that happen. Here's a serve now for Iguana, who's checked in. The two setters for VCU. This is the setter who is the lefty. Pops the serve, and Canaan uh, didn't play it, and it's in. Canaan thought it was going to float long, ducked the ball, and at the last second, the ball dropped. So the ace for Iguano, she's from Gilbert, Arizona, played at Chaminade before transferring to VCU. And then the error, four to 15. VCU 14. Neither coach has called a timeout here in this third set. So we have won the media timeout as the Gators are the first team to 15. Gators up two sets to none. And here in the third, it's Florida 15. What reason? I have no idea. But now she'll go back and serve it after the service error by Taylor Aguano. And uh, here we go with Ellie McKissick. Her serve is in play. Pass made, Bentley. Iguana goes all the way to the other side to Vukovic. Gators block it, it's played up. Great block cover there by Jefferson. Florida goes to the right side. Bernie Hendrickson delivers the blast. Wow. Started off with a quality touch on the block, keeping the pressure on for VCU and enabling the Gators to get their feet under them and run the offense. And who do you go to? Bertie Hendrickson. Jefferson left, Hoffmeyer middle, and right, Bentley and serve receive. Beyond the end line left side, here's the serve for McKissick. The ball floated right at Bentley. It's near the net. Jefferson from the back row takes a swing and misses the entire court. And maybe this is the run that Florida's been looking for. Some of these high energy plays that are so characteristic of Florida Gator Volleyball. Third serve this turn for the libero for Florida McKissick. Right to left, here it comes. Shank passes and service ace for McKissick. And that'll get the people going. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Ellie McKissick now with 11 service aces on the year, tying Merritt Bisun not playing this weekend for the Gator lead in that category, forcing the timeout called for. Bye. And who better to have on the service line in doing so than Ellie McKissick, Tom? Put so much pressure on with the serve. 
And you can make the job easier for your defense, whether it be at the net and blocking or the floor defense, by keeping an aggressive serve. Pass made, Vukovic in back left. They go to Vukovic on the left side. Dug up by McKissick. Second contact, Fitzpatrick all the way to the right side. Birdie Hendrickson takes a swing. Couldn't quite get enough roll on it to keep it in. Credit Hendrickson for the guts on that. That was a rafter ball all the way to the right pin. And we got Mary Wise up with the challenge card. Okay. Challenge from Mary Wise. I'm wondering what the challenge would be for. And Ron Stahl, the down official, asked the teams to separate from their normal positions on the court. And uh, we'll have conferences of both coaches with their teams during this challenge. And I was going to comment on that rafter ball kind of outside, uh, or excuse me, right side attempt there. I have known one player who not only is fearless mm -hmm. with that type of set, because that's a hard ball to hit as a pin hitter. It's harder to time. Uh -huh. It's harder to keep your vision with the block sometimes even with the court because you're looking up at the ball in, a, in a, a tempo that you're very unaccustomed to, right? But there's one player that played for Florida that not only didn't mind that, but actually loved that type of ball. And that's outside hitter, Carly Snyder. Hmm. She used to take some of the True. biggest rips on those out of system, huge arcing balls from, she's you know, at the left side, from the right back. And I said to her, I said, you know, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody that hits that ball like you do. And she says, I love that ball. Just seeing if that was a decision from our replay official, but it's not yet. The replay official today is James Phillips as he confers with the R2, Ron Stahl, and the challenge denied. So the call confirmed on the court. So it's 1915, and Bentley off to our left will serve, ending the service run of five serves from Florida's libero, Ellie McKissick. Here is Bentley beyond the end line, extended back right side, approach, toss, jump, serve. Pass, McKissick, sets the outside, Fitzpatrick, wow, blasts it right in the back middle at Cairo Bentley, who just put her arms up in front of her face in self-defense. Wake up, Bentley, time to play. Wow, unbelievable shot there from AC Fitzpatrick. That had a lot of pace on it. Florida 20, VCU 15. Here's the serve for Bertie Hendrickson. It's an ace for Bertie Hendrickson. She has had quite the weekend, Josh. That was a, a physics-defying serve. Float serve okay. that was headed right at the tape. Floated up, over, and then back down, landing in the front left court for VCU. Wow. Do that twice in a row. Lead of a half dozen for Florida. Another serve for Hendrickson. Pass Brangioni to the right side. Vukovic. Gators block it. A.C. Fitzpatrick again. I, lo I love how connected fashion without Merritt Beeson, the team captain, and arguably the most solid offensive threat for this Gator team. Well, and just the sheer volume of volleyball from Friday morning to Tuesday night that the Gators are playing right now mm -hmm. to earn some much needed rest and much deserved rest after that. They haven't gone long matches, like you said, with the sweep so far, but that's still just a lot of playing and not a lot of recovery. Hendrickson to serve here, birdie for Florida. Leans in, makes a serve, pass Jefferson and back left, set to the middle, Stratton dug up by Fitzpatrick. Set to Bertie Hendrickson, back right, played up by Bentley in back middle for VCU. Out to the outside, Jefferson delivers the big blow, and that brings a big celebration from the former Gator manager, Aaron Gordon, up off his, his perch over there, if you want a big smile, too. They were waiting for Jefferson to unload like she did there. Hey, you've got to be happy about that line shot. At a defensive player as accomplished as Bertie Hendrickson. She can handle that ball, but not that one. Stratton to serve for VCU beyond the end line. Left side back, short ball, played by Fitzpatrick. Redirected by Stuckey. Somehow Vukovic gets the ball on the right side. Look out. Somehow played by McKissick. And A.C. Fitzpatrick off the net, just goes straight up, and it's the angle shot for the kill. And again, that's Fitzpatrick with her right foot on the attack line, way out at the sideline, well off the net, and undaunted. She's seen some... Some big training and some big volleyball up at Penn State. Has been here long enough to work into the system, but she's done so very quickly. Plays confident volleyball here in the O'Connell Center. Pass made. Set to the middle for VCU and the kill for Jasmine Knight. But it's been really an indicative of how Florida's played that we haven't called Jasmine's Knight, Jasmine Knight's name a lot. 
Yeah, well, right now everybody seems to be picking on Bertie Hendrickson at right back for Florida. <laughs> First the line shot, and now uh, that left angle out of the middle. But you're right. You know, Florida, I think, did a, a pretty fair job of, of keying in on Knight, leading point scorer for the Rams, trying to contain her. Here's a serve for Corinna Jones, who's checked in. Pass, Trinity Adams. Skaters go outside to Sophia Victoria, and she did not get a touch. No, there is a touch. The up official, Michelle Prather, calls it. It's Florida 24, BCU 17. It's match point. And checking back in to serve here at match point is the freshman out of Arden, North Carolina, Emerson Hoyle. Beyond the end line, left side, back. Three and serve, receive for VCU. Here is the serve at 24-17. Pass made high in the air, Hoffmeyer. Bump set, back row Bentley, dug up by Trinity Adams. Redirected because the ball went across the net, redirected for a kill for Jefferson. 24-18. And Alexis Stuckey doing all she can do, tracking that ball over her left shoulder as she turns. Puts up a block, but there's just too much net to take care of. Jefferson, excuse me, Jefferson now serves for VCU. McKissick with the pass, out to the outside. Victoria missed it down the line. Sophia Victoria looking for that cross body line shot. Was just about a ball width or so wide. Right idea. Third chance at match point for the Gators. Again, the serve for Jefferson. Pass McKissick, overpass. Hartzell dug up somehow by Florida. Back on the side of VCU. They go to the middle, and Knight buries one. And with the lineup change, seeing some chemistry problems initially in some of these scramble plays, miscommunication between some of the defense. Florida just trying to hang on. Jefferson serves. And it's long. The service error. And this one's in the books, Josh. That was a kind of an, an awkward finish. Yeah. finish. Awkward finish for a really aggressive late run by the Rams there in the third set. Gators win it in three straight. The final set goes Florida's way, 25 to 20, as they get match point on their fourth opportunity here. VCU with the loss falls to four and five on the season. They will host the VCU Invitational starting on Friday, and they open it up with a 6 p.m. match against the University of North Carolina. For the Florida Gators, the 16th ranked Florida team improved.